Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we have the melting basket for the month of April. There's quite a few different really good scents. Some scents I've been waiting to melt for a while and other things I've rolled over for the last couple months, but we're going to dive right into them right now. First off, I have so many of these, even though it's slightly off season. This is the Cider House Donuts from Sensationals. I bought a whole sleeve of these like a... Uh two years ago. I really enjoy them, but I, I need to like try to melt one of these a month. We'll see if we can get through another one. I think I've got three more left, I think. Really good. It went, went like super not viral necessarily, but I know it was super popular on the whole wax world, if you will. And then we have from Better Homes and Gardens. Oh, rest in peace. I really hope they bring this back maybe with a different name. I don't know, but this is Sugar Lavender Twist with Better Homes and Gardens and they don't make it anymore. So this is Raspberry Orange Red Fig Pink Sugar Vanilla Orchid Lavender Vanilla Sugar and Amber to make one of the best bedroom scents I have ever had in my life. Lavender to me is a perfect place to put is the bedroom for that kind of scent. And a lot of people love it also throughout their home. This one I just finished for the month of March. I had another one, so I put it in for the month of April. April. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Lemon Pumpkin Shortbread. Again, slightly off season, but that's okay. We have lemon, pumpkin, ginger, cinnamon, clove, sugar, and uh, sugar scents. It's kind of more of a shortbread. There's a little spice in it, but it's definitely shortbread. It's definitely like a gourmand scent, so I thought it would be really nice to have. All right, so carrying forward from the last month, I'm going to put the card up above to show you guys a lot of these were shapes. These two here were shapes at one point, and they're really cool pie shapes. They're all from Zape. Don't have, I can't remember, one of you guys were awesome and was able to tell me what this was, was called something orchid orchard i was orchard something apple orchard anyway it's uh these are all from zape this is definitely a vanilla and apple scent love it we are going to be definitely melting this still in the month of april but it's a beautiful scent this one here is another pie shape that we cut up in that video cindy lou who which is peppermint vanilla bean and pink sugar i love those types of combinations and then the last one is going to be in like my coffee section like my weekend melting this is christmas in a cup which is egg Nog, sugar cookies, espresso, and sweet cream. That will be melted over on the weekends. All right, we have some uh, rainbow melts items here. And again, all of the vendors that I'm speaking to you about today, they're all of my top vendors. Like I, there's a couple other vendors that not I don't have at the moment, but every, everything I've shown you, uh, Walmart, but also the vendors I'm sharing with you are my top. First off from rainbow melts, we have citrus smash. These are small little loaves. So I'll be cutting these ones up. Lemon sherbet uh, or sorbet, sorry, lemon sorbet, orange slice and frozen lime margarita. Doesn't that sound nice, especially for this time of year? Then we have summer wine slushy. Well, it has wine in it, so it must be good. Sangria, very fruity wine, and a strawberry freeze. And if you guys didn't already know, I had a whole bunch of sangria when I was in Spain this like in January. And if you don't already follow my husband and I on our YouTube travel channel, I'll, I'll put the link to the channel in my description bar. So feel free to pop over. We just got back from that. And then the next video, if it's not already up, it'll be up shortly showing you where we went within 11 hours of coming home we went somewhere else which was awesome so uh, we always like to travel and when we do we like to vlog and um, it's kind of for us for memory but sangria I drank a lot of the sangria when I was in Spain I was I was in love with that stuff then this one here is beach cabana which is ocean side ocean side fruits and salty notes with musk so that's what I have here to melt from rainbow melt so we have some things this is all from super tarts we have some things that are coming over from the last month one of my favorite scents of all time. This is Beauty and the Beast. This is described as blackberry sweetened cereal, marshmallows and sugary milk. I think I have bought like three bags of these at one point from, a, from Wax Wednesday a couple years ago. I think this is my last one. I don't remember seeing another one in my, my collection. I will buy more of this. This is a favorite of mine. This is gorgeous. If you love gourmand scents, you will love this. Then we have Jaws and Ellen. So these, Ellen is, Ellen, this pinky purple one, is like the spinoff or a flanker of Jaws. So Jaws is described as sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum pear. And that's this one here, which is being brought over again from the last month. And Ellen is those exact same notes, but... You just have to add on this one, pink sugar. So again, this will be a bathroom melt. Love this one. Anything with the Jaws blend in it is, in my eyes, is excellent. Minerva, a beast mode scent. Oh my gosh, you put, you put one of these little squares in your melter and literally if you had your melter on for like three, four weeks, you probably, unless you went nosmic, which means nose blind, I'm sure you would smell this for quite some time. 
is strong. It's so good though. It's one of my favorite laundry blends. This is pink sugar and laundry. It's so good. I have another bag like this left in my collection. I know that much. One of my favorite scents from any vendor again. And the last one I have from Super Tars is Hedwig. She's renamed a lot of her scents so we can't use Hedwig necessarily or I don't think she can because copyright reasons. But anyway, this is back in the day when you could. Chai tea, creamy cheesecake, and clove. I only melt tea and coffee scents on weekends as I kind of alluded to earlier with the Zape fragrance I was showing you. So I don't normally add many more coffee scents into my basket each month because I normally have so many left over from the previous month. And finally, when I finally dwindle down, I'll put more in. This is a great one. Hedwig is one of my favorite chai tea scents as well. Okay, so the last vendor we're gonna talk about today is the Vintage Chic Scents. And I'm actually going to dive into some of my big blossom bars, as you see here have this one as I think I mentioned maybe it was early in this video or my empties video but this is very basic scent but VCS does it very well princess of Monaco lemon curd swirled with gooey marshmallows it's a fairly basic scent but it's a beautiful one what I'll probably do is just cut one of these little squares off and cut that square up into a bunch of pieces and then melt that down the road my friend Teresa oh my god she was so sweet she sent me one of my favorite scents and I also apologize if I say this incorrectly but Lancelot and Genevieve or Genevieve mm, I don't know this is vanilla lace type from Victoria's Secret one of my absolute favorite scents why did Victoria's Secret ever get rid of any of their classic lotions sprays and shower gels because vanilla lace was my number one love spell was the next one that I love so much and there was a few like there's a pear and a champagne and there's just so many really good ones but I love this this smells so nostalgic for me I can't wait to start melting this one again I'll just cut a single little square chop it into smaller pieces and when I want that nostalgia I will absolutely looking forward to melting that one and then we've got quite a few little things here um what was it one we got actually two Don Corleones I didn't realize I had two of them and it doesn't matter I'm, I'm definitely going to use it up not my favorite scent this is a revised version of her original Don Corleone that I fell in love with because the oil that she used back in the day like 2015 it got reformulated or she wasn't able to get that particular oil again so it definitely just smells like cherry and I'm not a big fan like if I want cherry I want I'll, I'll get something with cherry but this is anyway Don Corleone is uh, Amarado coffee tiramisu topped with fresh picked strawberries I don't get any of that except for cherry <laughs> literally that to my nose anything almond pistachio it smells like cherry <laughs> anyway so then we got over here with a nice little cute little heart shape here. This is the Love Potion number nine, strawberry apricot ginger ale. Normally I like to save the ginger ales for summer, but I was like strawberry and apricot, I kind of want to melt it soon. Like I just kind of like, you know, I'm like, I think I'm ready to do it. So we're definitely going to go with that one. And then Meet Me in St. Louis is something that I'm bringing over from the last month. So this is the one I've been melting a little bit here and there in my bathroom melter. This is Meet Me in St. Louis, warm, cozy linen with a hint of sweetness. Anything linen, that kind of thing, or like very fresh, I love it in the bathroom. So I'm bringing that over because I only just started that one. Then we have breakfast at Tiffany's, almond cream cheese croissant and a hot coffee. Now this one does not have that much strength in the hot coffee, but I am looking forward to trying those. And then this one here, I've had before, I emptied it last month, but I'm bringing it over again. Aunt Nellie's Espresso Cupcakes, which is espresso beans, rich vanilla cupcake, zucchini bread, and sugar cookies. And I only, like I said before, melt coffee scents on weekends. So I know I won't get through all of these and I'm showing you today. They will, whatever I don't get through with the coffee, they will be rolled over to the month of May. So Johanna, we have fresh strawberries blended with rosemary, mint, and shaving cream. I love Johanna. It's just one of my favorite scents of all time. One of my favorite scents from VCS. And that is it, my friends. That is what I have for my melting basket. And in my basket, I'm just gonna show you guys I'm gonna bring this over here I have like little baskets here and I have like a little piece of cardboard that splits them up so I have two baskets one little split for each is cardboard and I do one side let's say bathroom the other side bedroom and then the other basket exactly the same one will be coffee and one will be a, the great room which is like kind of sense to go everywhere so that's kind of how I break things down in case you were wondering but anyway you guys thank you so much for watching again if you haven't already checked out our travel channel definitely look below in the description bar I always put it down there it's hitchhiking with the Harveys we would love to have you and like I said we just came back from a really awesome trip and I'm about to start editing for the next 
next trip that we went on to afterwards and there's a strong possibility that I'll be going away again next few months somewhere really cool somewhere I, it's on my bucket list that I don't want to jinx because I don't know if I can go yet let's fingers crossed that we can all go to that trip anyway you guys thank you so much for watching as always be safe take care and have fun bye guys